get us started with uh, some definitions and some whys. Okay. First of all, I'm going to give a, a definition of native plants. You, you can see lots of different definitions of native plants, but generally they contain these four characteristics. A native plant is a plant that has evolved naturally within a particular ecoregion prior to European settlement. Um, this definition requires a geographical qualifier. In other words, you need to specify what particular region you're talking about. It could be the northeast of the U.S., it could be New York State, it could be Rensselaer County, it could even be your, um, your EPA ecoregion, which you can find online, which tries to, to um, put you in an area that has uh, characteristics that are similar. So the plant, this native plant within this particular ecoregion can thrive in the local soils and rainfall level, levels, weather, and climate conditions. It um, has evolved codependently with the local wildlife in the soil biota over actually hundreds of thousands of years. And this is an important point because evolution moves very slowly. So even if a plant has been here came over with the Europeans. It hasn't really had enough time to evolve and interact with the local wildlife, which is important because this means that it will be able to be used by the local wildlife. And the it, since it's a plant, it's going to be using energy from the sun and passing this up through the food chain. But it can't do that if it can't interact with the wildlife. And that's, that's one of the problems and one of the major features of going toward native plants. Native plants contribute the best valuable ecological services within your ecoregion, and we'll, you'll hear about some of those in just a minute. At the bottom of the page are a few pictures of native plants in our region. This is Hellenium to the left, bee balm, and oak leaf hydrangea. And as you learn more and more about native plants, you'll get to know the ones that are specific for, for your area. And next, I'll talk about non-native plants. These are often called exotic, alien, or introduced. These plants have not evolved naturally within a particular ecoregion. They've been introduced into it. They, but they do often thrive locally in the soils, rainfall, weather, and climate conditions. However, because they thrive, they can compete with the native plants for the resources that the native uses. And this competition is usually or often successful. Now, as I mentioned in the last slide, they're unable to contribute to the food web because they haven't evolved. And the thing is that we need the food web in order for plants to pass on the energy they, re they receive from the sun up the food web. And if that, ha if that is not, if, if this isn't able to happen, then the whole food web co collapses. And it may sound dire, but it's actually true. And non-native plants do contribute some ecological services, but many at a significantly lower level. Now, this doesn't mean you can't have them in your garden. Some of the flowers that we've pictured below, the peonies, daylilies, and lilacs,